you play professional sports? Do you live somewhere in Texas? Did you may or may not commit a crime? No? Oh. Well, if you were someone that fits into all three of these categories, call this man. Rusty Harden. His name may go unnoticed by the public eye, but his presence hasn't. Harden has been pictured with multiple professional athletes across the major sports as their defendant in criminal cases. And when it comes to those athletes' cases, he seemingly never loses, becoming a somewhat walking legend in the Houston area and Texas in general. But let's back this up for a quick second and learn why athletes call on this man to help them in court. In 1975, Rusty began his legal career as an assistant district attorney in Houston. Over a period of 15 years, he tried over 100 felony cases, not losing once. Then in 96, he started his own practice where he has taken on 70 plus civil and criminal cases, as well as having multiple accolades including top 10 Texas Super Warriors and being ranked by Chambers USA. So you can see why athletes were drawn to the idea of Rusty representing their cases. A great lawyer on your side if you can get him. For this video, I'll take you through most of Rusty Harden's court cases involving athletes and what the results were. And in July 1994, his first star athlete came to him. Rudy Tomjanovich. Tomjanovich, the then head coach of the Houston Rockets, was arrested for a drunk driving charge and refusing to do sobriety tests. The Rockets also won their first championship in 1994 in June, so eventful two months for Tomjanovich and a deserved time to party. Eventually, the DWI case was dropped slash evidence was lacking, so Rudy was free on a $500 bail and won another championship in 95. The same year Tomjanovich won a championship, Warren Moon was charged with spousal abuse, not Moon's first or last court case involving women. Now, Moon's wife at the time received scratches and bruises while Warren got a candle holder thrown at him. Harden told the jurors, This is a love story, folks, not an assault, he said. Turn to the prosecutors. He had a shame on you for trying to make it one. Interesting line, but hey, the jury found Moon not guilty and acquitted him. Another year later in 97, Wade Boggs, a now Hall of Famer in the MLB, was playing for the New York Yankees when he had an incident with a flight attendant that was claimed as verbal assault. He turned to Harden. This wasn't Boggs' first story that involved an airline. Just look up Wade Boggs' beer on Google. But back to the court case. To put it short, a jury cleared Boggs of civil assault, and Harden even going the length to say the plaintiff was trying to hit the jackpot of lawsuits lottery. Within the next seven years, Harden dealt with three other cases involving athletes, specifically three Houston Rockets, including Scottie Pippen, Steve Francis, and Calvin Murphy. Pippen and Francis both got charged with drunk driving and both were acquitted of their charges. Calvin Murphy's case was a bigger charge in that he was indicted on three counts of aggravated sexual assault and three of indecency with a child. We believe the alleged incidents of abuse did not happen and Calvin is absolutely insistent they did not happen, Harden said. Once these allegations are made, no one ever fully recovers, no matter what a jury says. Eventually, Murphy was acquitted of the charges, making Harden a 5-0 and in athlete cases. Now fast forward to 2007 of the funny story involving J.R. Smith. You see, Harden defended J.R. when he was accused of assaulting another player in a summer basketball game in 2006. Three years later, Rusty Harden was missing $22,000 in legal fees and filed a lawsuit against J.R. Smith. Harden even bought courtside seats for him and his attorney at the Toyota Center for the game when Smith's Nuggets would be in town to play the Rockets to personally serve him papers. However, a last second wire transfer from JR put him in good condition with Harden and his attorney. Yeah, 2007 was an interesting year for JR Smith. Another lookup option for you viewers out there. And I guess another win for Rusty? The year 2012 was probably Harden's biggest case to date involving athletes. That's right, because Rusty had the opportunity to represent NBA superstar Jordan Hill. Nah, I'm just kidding. Rusty had represented Hill in Hill's felony assault charge, and he eventually got the charge reduced to misdemeanor and avoided jail time. The real big case of 2012 involved one of the best MLB pitchers of all time, Roger Clemens. Now, Clemens may have been on the juice during his career as that was big in his prime, but you know, that's kind of just for you to decide. I still think he was juicing, but he should be in the Hall of Fame anyways. The reason Clemens got a court case in the first place was that he was charged with perjury and that he lied to the U.S. Congress about himself taking PEDs. Harden's biggest headline case, and with Harden and his team, Clemens was found not guilty on the perjury charges. Now this is where Rusty Harden began to get bigger athlete name cases because in 2014, another big name came for help. Adrian Peterson was accused and charged with felony child abuse. Peterson, two years removed from an MVP season, missed almost all of 2014 because of this case and the situation had a lot of the media talking about it. 
Harden gave a statement to the court, saying that Peterson used the same kind of discipline with his kid that he experienced as a child growing up in East Texas, and that it is important to remember that Adrian never intended to harm his son and deeply regrets the intentional injury. Peterson pleaded no contest, and in a plea deal, he got his felony reduced to a misdemeanor and no jail time. For the years 2015 to 2019, cases representing Kurt Busch, Michael Bennett, and James Harden twice took up this timeline. Bush was accused of domestic assault, but was later not charged. Michael Bennett was accused of pushing a paraplegic security guard while trying to get onto the field for the Super Bowl, and Harden helped get the case dismissed. James Harden in 2017 and 2019 was accused of paying off people to rob Moses Malone Jr. and breaking a cameraman's finger respectively. James Harden was not charged for either crime. Now the most recent lawsuit involving an athlete came in 2023, a former Houston quarterback who may or may not did some stuff at massage parlors. That's right. Deshaun Watson's multiple sexual assault lawsuits fell into Rusty's hands. Since this is the most recent case, you probably have heard the result of the case already. If not, two grand juries declined to indict Watson on any criminal charges, and Watson settled with 23 of the 24 women that accused him. Rusty Harden's career while dealing with athletes has seen favorable swayed decisions towards the athletes in terms that said athletes have been acquitted or dropped to lower charges. In total, if you count up all the athletes I could find that were represented under Harden, his quote-unquote lawyer record is 15 wins and one loss. Dang unmentioned 2016 Steve Francis case. No doubt, Rusty has been a great lawyer in any case he gets to represent. Now, time to wait and see what other major athlete will come knocking on his door. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, and hitting the bell notification. Thank you.